Hello, welcome to All in the West. I'm Grey Hunter and go at the German side. Now, we just have to sit here while the AI runs through its thing. So, yep, yeah, it's July the 3rd, 1943. Vision of Sicily is a go. Fortunately, I can sit here and take this for a few minutes. So, if you've not played War in the West, I was about to say, if you've just played War in the East and you haven't played War in the West, that was the sentence I was trying to get out. The air phase is quite a bit different. Um, here you plan up, set your plans, have them run, and then it just does the entire air phase separately and applies the results to the battle phase. It, some people hate it, it's kind of maligned, but I don't actually find it that bad. That might just be me being... Um, not perfect. Then again, it's a hex-based war game and they always need to make the stupidest decisions available. We can only look quite heavily around a record there. That's that. I think the air is just going to go for the, yeah, I'm pretty sure the air is just going to go for the standard offensive. So, in the bottom corner here, we have the uh, being flown, as you can see, flying a lot more. Lost 600 planes, only 200, they're not going to feel that as a drop in the ocean. Mostly it's recon this turn. Let's talk about my plan while I'm finishing this up. I want to make them pay for this while limiting unit losses. This is going to be the balance. You know, as long as I can get into the mountains and just like, hold up quite heavily, put them down every turn. They have to spend fighting in like Sicily, Italy, like that. Makes their life a lot harder. I've not actually played the German side. I've been keeping this specially for the LP because I don't want to know if the AIs can switch up invasion sites or if they're locked inside Normandy, stuff like that. Um, so I've been trying to keep this as fresh as I can for myself. Right, so they just moved all the troops into position. And then before I get to go, there will be an amphibious invasion mode. Amphibious invasions take place in your opponent's turn before they get to um, react. Although when I say in the opponent, in the German's turn, because the Germans don't have the option to do amphibious assaults. They're now invading Britain, which is a shame. Just to lose this, it's just a matter of how long it takes me. Okay, so, 600 men lost, which is just standard attrition. And here we go. So retreat. Airdrops going in. Oh, guess what? Their invasion forces just seem to be able to overwhelm mine. Oh, surrendering air, but depot's captured. Not really much I can do about this, I haven't had a chance to do anything, so just pay. Mounted up a tunnel out there. A lot of these guys surrendering are the static aircraft units. That's a painful one. They've secured themselves a port. Right. So I want air superiority to be high. Transport to be high. Northern Europe, I don't care about at the moment. Um. Attack. 
Not going to be that much use to me. This turn, unit attack. Auto attack is actually being relatively useful. Interdiction. And then set air detectives. Then we'll have a look at the summary on the boxes. Sitting in perfect screens, that's why I can't find it. That should be showing you the um, air directive targets. Hmm, alright. Maybe it has to wait a turn. Anyway. Back to that. Oh, there we are. There it is. I'll have to be on this one. So, as you can see, the AI sometimes has moments like, why is this crowd attack targeted when it should be? Target priority, not the hex, that's why it's not working. That's pretty good. What else here? Recon. Again, recon. They've done a patch, I think, since I last played. Superiority, I'm going to move down. I'm going to increase the area five, which nicely brackets most of the invasion area. Right, so. Northern Europe. Ground, ground attack, superiority, full of for free. And I want that more around here. I'm not expecting an invasion for the first few years. Well, turns. Over the years. Alright, that is about that. I need to get superiority over my ferries, that's why I've not moved the other one. Now we're going in and bombing up there around some units. This is, a, this is the form for the uh, also ground attacks. Lost planes, killed a few planes, did some damage. Superiority didn't do much. Recon, excellent. We have got a good idea of what the allies are doing. So if you see the allies have landed. Three divisions here. Six divisions and several brigades. And a regiment here. Oh, I could counterattack the beaches. I mean, there's a few places here that are relatively weak. Um, if I was to bring down these guys, then I could. I might be able to force back a few of these assaults, but I'm going to play this safe to begin with. I'm going to pull all my troops. Move. Alright, that was silly. If 
special rail movement available. That I have still got rail movement. just because it's a bit of a better place to defend so you get two defensive pips now instead of one but I'm making my nice little defensive line here and the idea is hopefully I can start and now in proper I want to move a few men around Italian forces. Most of these guys aren't worth the effort because the moment they land, then I'm going to have it to worry about you know, them just evaporating. So, plenty of defenses around the Italian troops on the mainland is just. Troops I've got south. Only just those at the moment. I could strip some troops out of um, France and stuff like that, but corps down if possible. Jaeger definitely worth stealing. Let's do this. Um, a lot of these guys are still static. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so I've started the flow of troops. So, what am I getting with some of these Italians? Well, if possible. I'm going to see about moving them across to the main. Um, it in. See about moving them across to fight in Sicily. No point in having them. have them nice fighting in Italy. That's what we'll do. Um, I think that is about it for this turn. Um, turn one, nice and easy. Move you down to a location spot. I did that via train. That was unnecessary. 
Might as well repair, that's the problem. Okay. The arrows, of course, have got massive forces. And it's going to be interesting to see how the AI uses them. Right. So yeah, this is how it's going to roll. I'm hoping to set a nice defensive line up here. Give up most of Sicily because there's no way I could hold it. Bit the allies as possible and try to avoid getting them um, like cut off. If I can take here, here, and here, then they can only attack for areas I can stock with Germans. And then I can just rotate the Italians and stuff like that for a while. See how that goes. I say I've not played this this way. So I'm completely in the dark as I want it. Because if I had practice, I'd be just clowning the AI, and that's not fun. Hopefully, you'll join me. So, yeah, hit subscribe and let's get this thing on.